<clears throat> right, Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Here I am, feeling very elvish and looking a lot more sensible than usual with my elf hat on. So this is my big message for you. How about that? Merry Christmas. Okay. Amazon, not Amazon, we're talking about Amnesty International bought one of those charities. No, it's Oxfam. Yeah, that's it. It's Oxfam bought. Yeah, nice thing. Can get a pack of 10 quite cheap because they're just outrageously expensive because you buy them. They've got all these sneaky codes on the back. And you don't know how much they're going to actually cost until you get to the till and you can't work it out like five quid for a card. But, you know, so uh, we've already had um, Christmas. Joyeux Noël, Bon Natale, Fröhlich Weihnacht, Sorogiest Wurm. But that's only like going to be 7th of um, uh, January or Mutlu um, Noel. But, you know, they don't really celebrate it in Turkey. What else? What else can I say? Krachun Fericit, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Prospero Año y Felicidad. So, you know, some people like me look at that. OK, well, that's just from someone. She'd actually write a message just from her. But OK, let's go see. You know, people do like me, I promise. I'm not just making it up. Okay, and that's Merry Christmas. All right, unimaginative to the point. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. I've got a good voice. But when I was caroling on Christmas Eve, someone had the nerve to tell me that I'm tone deaf. And okay, it's true. It was, it was some melodies I can catch. And another one. And how, how about this? May 2024 be a good one, and may every good um, fortune come your way. May you enjoy health and happiness and be of peace. Cheers and love. And I shan't say who it's from. But anyway, that's the spirit. Um, actually, I rather appreciate that message. Yeah, that, that's what I want to be wished. So I'd like to come true. And look at this one. And this one with the image of who is the Blessed Virgin and the infant Christ is actually from a Muslim. She writes, Dear George, thank you for making our days cheerful. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Best wishes. She put a name and a family, you know, day, day day protection. I can't say who that is. And um, look at another one. Okay. Dear George, wishing you a happy Christmas and a joyful new year 2024. All the best. And signed by two people. I didn't really know. I know the husband, the wife, I never even met. Um, and so, so that, that's the spirit. Did, did you have a Merry Christmas? You know, I ate chicken, actually, because um, people usually eat turkey. I don't even like turkey that much. Dear George, Merry Christmas and a happy new year from, and I won't say the names. OK, even the dog signed it. OK, isn't that nice? Not particularly religiously themed one, but that's fine by me. Something seasonal and cheerful. Here's this rather gelid scene, but somehow can be cozy if you're inside by a log fire looking out on the winterscape. But no snowflakes going to land. We always say, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just like the ones I used to know, where the treetops glisten and children listen. Is it the stories of long ago? So that that's for you. So Irving Berlin, 1942. And think of all the chaps being sent off to the Second World War and casting their minds back from Guadalcanal to snowy, snowy Christmases in South Dakota or whatever. Uh, anyway, to George and family... Loved your housewarming party. Well, I won't say who that one's from. These are the, these are the actually handwritten messages, not what's printed in there. And, oh, wow. And look at this one. Uh, well, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Grateful for you and today. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. And I won't say who that's from. And um, so it goes on. So, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I, I do rather enjoy Christmas. I was often in, accused of not getting into the spirit of Christmas long ago when well, i'm not into the materialistic spirit and obviously i give and receive presents but i don't believe in an arms race and i keep up with the joneses just tons of presents things that are things that are worth a name and not money anybody can give money even write a story a work of art a painting something that you've made that anyone that amount of money could buy whatever it was but zero thought or really effort goes into giving the money yeah and i know he or she can give the something that he or she wants so um and I know certain people who really don't get the idea and they just think it's some sort of um, uh, consumerist bonanza. Uh, so I do like the dressing the up, up um, and so on, because, you know, it could be a rather grim time of year. The hours of darkness are long. It's chilly. We're stuck inside a lot. So we try and make a virtue of necessity. Obviously, harks back to Saturnalia. Jesus Christ 
even if you believe the gospels almost certainly wasn't born at, in, in winter because of course the shepherds were up on the hills they've been down on the valleys if it really was uh, the middle of the winter so there's only grass grafted this nativity onto the roman pagan festival of saturnalia which which sounded like a lot more fun so there are 12 days of christmas actually 12 days after christmas between christmas and the feast of epiphany 6th of um, uh, january the wise men come and that's the manifestation of our lord and savior to to the people we often call them three kings even though they're not called that the wise men and that's when you take the christmas decorations down and return to ordinary life but of course in ireland it's a little christmas particularly in cork as in women's christmas the men have to do all the cooking and housework and women can just socialize and obviously Orthodox Christmas is, is 7th of January. What I hadn't realized is actually the Greek Orthodox Church, they shifted to 25th of December a long time ago. I assume they were still doing it in sync with, with the Ruskies. And the Ukrainians had just shifted to 25th of January. Yes, I did. I did have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So is it the most wonderful time of year for you? What do you think? And I do have a Santa Claus hat somewhere or other. So Santa Claus comes, Baba Noel Convenit Moscherila, I was asking people the other days. But, but of course, in, in Romania, it's no longer communist times. You're allowed to call him Moshkrachun, as in Old Man Christmas. That's Santa Claus. And of course, in Russia, he's Ged Moroz, which is literally um, Old Man Frost. Grandfather Frost, they often mistranslate it somewhat. And he's accompanied by Stegorochka, his granddaughter. Stegorochka, I suppose I could render that as Little Snowy. Uh, so um, sometimes we have a Mrs. Santa Claus I've seen in various films and I do did appreciate it when the BBC used to show at nine o'clock Santa Claus is leaving the North Pole we can confirm they showed him on his sleigh going off with a reindeer but he says that if presents are delivered all children must go to bed on time uh, so yeah I didn't have any mulled wine this year I, I do quite like it isn't it curious how turkey is the, the typical thing to eat at Christmas in the British Isles, because of course we didn't have turkeys here in the 17th century. I was reading how in some of Eastern Europe it's fish is the usual thing to eat, whereas in, in Romania it's pork and so forth. So eat anything you want, really. Uh, you know, a Christmas crackers. I could write a lot of these Christmas cracker jokes, and I've got another one coming up for you. Why do ponies always sound like they've got a sore throat? They're a little horse. <laughs> how about that? Okay, dad jokes, because they've got to be clean and comprehensible acceptable for for a family uh, audience uh, so much to look forward to in 2024 certain new res years resolutions thing i want to achieve um academically and and go do a little bit of traveling yeah because you know present wise i don't really need more things but make massive donations please because then i could do more traveling maybe a better camera for my youtube channel a lot more subscribers uh so uh, well, I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. It can be a rather stressful time of the year with people getting drunk and having um, blazing rows, screaming matches with relatives and in-laws they don't particularly like. Um, but yeah, it, it was good for me. Fantastic to cycle, actually, because scarcely anybody's on the road this time of year. But surprising the number of enterprises are open even on Christmas Day. It's the worst time to travel, though, because they always mess up the trains and buses around here. Uh, there you are in Australia. It's crazy. Have a good one. Uh, all right. And what else is it going to reflect in the airports because there are very long queues and the flights are delayed and cancelled because it's icy and frosty in other places. Oh, my God. The plane flights are diverted. Drove me nuts when that happened one time trying to fly uh, back to back to Ireland. All right. Goodbye, everybody. And uh, have a splendiferous 2024. Make sure you subscribe on Patreon. And as my Christmas present, just give me a thousand pounds on, on PayPal. That's not much to ask. George Callahan79 at gmail.com. Toodaloo.